Hundreds of Afghan families are rebuilding their lives in foreign countries. Some societies have welcomed them with open arms. Others are dealing in anti-refugee hatred. How will Afghans navigate their new life? Do they dream of going back one day? They fled the Taliban's rage. They survived the chaos at Kabul airport. And now, a new chapter beckons, away from the Afghan Chan, but equally challenging. Tens of thousands of Afghans fled the country last month. Some feared Taliban retribution. Others wanted a better life. They've been resettled in different countries, like the United States, Britain, South Korea and Germany. Their immediate fear has been erased. The Taliban cannot reach them anymore. But what happens next? How will they rebuild their life in these foreign countries? And uh, I would like to continue my profession. I would like to work as a medical doctor here. And uh, after this uh, quarantine time is over, uh, I will seek the ways uh, how to enter the, this uh, process and uh, how to uh, so find uh, opportunities for work. And uh, of course, uh, if, I, if uh, the certificate, getting certificate is needed, I will get ready and try to get the Korean uh, certificate. South Korea has evacuated 390 Afghans. They work to the Korean government in Afghanistan. In return, they are being cleared for long-term stays. South Korea is traditionally anti-immigration. This is a society that prides itself on homogeneity. But recent polls say attitudes have changed. They don't call us refugee. They, 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 they call us a special contributor. And we are so proud of that name and we are so happy with that name. These Afghans are excited about building a new life. But ghosts from the past are not easy to dispel. Meet Farida Nesgard, a journalist from Afghanistan. She fled to Qatar last week with her daughter, but her husband and son remain in Kabul. Nesgard says she did not want to leave, but being imprisoned in her house was not an option. Really, it is very hard and we are feeling like very bad because of course, uh, uh, we left and still a number of uh, our colleagues and friends and women journalists especially uh, left behind. Uh, uh, even uh, my family members also stay in, uh, still in Kabul. For Afghans like Nesgard, their new life is woven into their past. Their hearts are still in Afghanistan, where many family members and colleagues are still stranded, evacuating them is top priority. Most nations have tried to live up to their commitments. Here's Mexico receiving multiple batches of Afghan refugees. Most of them are media workers and their families. Earlier, an Afghan all-girls robotics team had arrived here. Mexico and Afghanistan do not have pages of bilateral relations to speak of. But this is where 300 odd Afghans will begin their new life. 13,000 kilometers from home. In Britain, Afghans were welcomed with sweets and toys. The Royal Air Force arranged goodies for Afghan kids who suddenly found themselves in an alien land. They don't understand this war or why they are not at school. All they care about is that toy nestled in their hands. How is Europe handling this wave of refugees? In Italy, the government has built temporary camps, like this one in Avezzano. More than 1,300 Afghans were housed here at the peak of evacuations. They say staying behind was too big a risk. As for the future, it's still too early to say. Are we thinking we are right now in a safe place. About the future, we are not sure because our families are in Afghanistan, we are here. So every time we think of our families, what's going to happen to them? Because we ran away from the country. There are some people there spying for the Taliban. They might say to my families that these guys are there. Every refugee has a different story of how they escaped, of what happens next. But their lives are entangled in many ways. They build new lives wherever they are. Their children will grow up in these new communities and through them, the spirit of Afghanistan will thrive.
South Asia Bureau, we on, world is one.